I think it's been two months since we've done a mailroom video and there's been a lot of stuff come in. From Brent Major, Laramie, Wyoming. My brother lives in Laramie, Wyoming, that's cool. No strap knee pads for application in pants like my Carhartts. You roll these things up, you put them in there, you got knee pads on all the time. The old bones are gonna thank you, Brent. That's neat. From Nathan Pulowski. Pulowski's Property Maintenance. Cool logo. Holyoke, Massachusetts. Thanks, man. Now, I'm not normal. I don't wear t-shirts, but Nathan wears them all the time. So these are gonna get a lot of road time in Mesa, Arizona. Thanks, Nathan. And thanks for the card. From the wood nerd, Bill Trainer, Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Now, that's a long way from Oregon. Traditional woodworking, wood nerd, established 2014. You're four years into it, man. You've about gone past that five-year window where, what is it, 70% of small businesses fail. You're almost, you're about to crest over where the uphill won't be quite so steep, but thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. From Jeffrey Miller. Jeffrey, an online mentor. Oh, he asks me specifically, he lives in the same town with the fellow who started Stiletto Titanium Tools, and you know I like Stiletto Hammers, and Mark Martinez, who invented Stiletto, Stiletto Tools, now owns and runs Martinez Tool Company. I have no idea about Martinez Tools, but I'm gonna check them out. Jeffrey Miller, I appreciate the heads up. He says he's, and he's 18. He started blacksmithing when he was 14, and he identifies himself now as a blacksmith, an Eagle Scout, a carpenter, a framer, and a friend. Ditto, Jeffrey. Thanks, and I'll check out those Martinez tools. Zimmerman, Petersburg, Illinois. This is a picture of a young dad and two little boys, and they're working. Dad's got an S-wing hammer. Andrew's got an S-wing hammer. Drew. Drew's got an S-wing hammer, and I'm not sure the name of the little guy. He's showing them how to change a P-trap. He's showing them how to put on siding. And here is my letter from Drew and a picture of his S-wing hammer. How about that? Atta boy, Drew, I gotta read a little bit of this. Dear Mr. Wadsworth, my name is Drew and I'm seven. I love your tool tank. I have my own S-wing hammer. It has, it has a goat head. You have the best YouTube videos from Drew Zimmerman. Man, Drew, keep it up. This is Drew Z's. It's terrific. Way to go, Dad. All right, now this box comes from Leonard Moog. He's in Arizona for the winter. And Leonard Moog is a good friend of my good friend, Cy Swan. And not only that, but Leonard's from around here. He knew my uncle and my aunt and my dad. And he came across some ironwood in the desert. I don't, I'm not sure where, I'm not sure how, I don't know anything about it, but I've got a nice box of nice knife handles here. Thank you, Leonard. I appreciate that so much. I, uh, I'll put this to good use. Closely related, I got a box from Ryan Grammer. Tonganoxie, Kansas. And it's got hedge apple and honey locust. Like a lot. Knife handles till I'm blue in the face, sword handles. Thanks guys, I appreciate having that material. It's great material. From Next Level Carpentry. And comes this nice little package. I don't know if that's birch veneer, I don't know what that is, but it's protecting his pencils. Next Level Carpentry. Nice logo and a nice note. He and I are cut from the same cloth. He graduated a couple years ahead of me and he said he went to work in construction the Monday after he graduated. How about that? So he's got more time in it than I do and he's making the transition to a YouTube channel. He's got a really great question. He says, I listened to the podcast you and Nate did with Dusty on YouTube creators, learned much about what the experience of growing a YouTube, YouTube channel is like. It's very encouraging. One question I'd like to ask, we were sitting on a tailgate with work boots on, sawdust on our sleeves and powdered sugar or chocolate icing from donuts on our upper lips is, what did the tipping point between Wadco and YouTube slash Essential Craftsman look like? It felt risky to put Wadco construction on ice and try it as a YouTuber, but it felt less risky than continuing Wadco construction between ages of 60 and 80 to see what it's like 20 years from now, continuing to do the same thing I'd been doing that felt a lot riskier than trying something new, something connected to an internet economy, something that involved my son and his talents. So far, it looks like it was the right choice, but talk to me in 20 years. 
Okay, these are cool. I'm in fact, this is somewhat beyond cool. This stuff gets a little mixed up. We're trying. So let me just repeat. If I overlook somebody, I cannot tell you how sorry I am. We're trying to cover everybody. This is from Larry. Larry B A R R I E A U in Wichenden, Massachusetts. Boy, I want to read this whole thing. I want to show it to you. Have you ever, you haven't seen script like that since you looked at the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Larry, you have some penmanship, and I've never seen paper like that. I'm retired and I have various interests that keep me happily busy. Projects in my wood shop and at my forge are great fun, and I turn out a few useful items. But he sent me this DVD, Ben's Mill, a film by Michael Shalufor and John Carroll, a documentary of the last, or essentially the longest running and last operating water-powered wood shop. And I cannot wait. I can't wait. Thanks, man. That's, I'm going to treasure that. I'm going to pour over that. I'm going to absorb some stuff from Ben's Mill. All right, what we have here is from Matsu Metalworks, two stickers, and a very nice note. Appreciate your passing on knowledge and experience, always learning something new. Kyle Bretterman. Those can go up on the cabinet. So this is the other one of the envelopes that has a check in it. That is really something. And Chuck is burned up with Patreon because of the temporary policy adjustment they made. I don't blame you. A lot of our Patreon subscribers sign up to donate a dollar a month. And it makes a real difference. And Chuck has taken it upon himself to send it straight to me. Thanks, Chuck. Not just for the support, but for the, uh, what it says about you. Thanks. From Italy. From Italy. I've got to pronounce it Bologna. I don't know how, how else to pronounce it. Bologna, Bologna, on March 1st. My name is Peldi. I'm writing from Bologna, Italy. You're one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you. You can listen to me all day. <laughs> my wife does not necessarily share that perception, but she is patient. I'm proud to support you on Patreon. Thank you very much. Thank you for your content, he says. I wish you great and long-lasting success. And look at that cool, he's, he's a software guy. He's a software guy. Watching a carpenter and a blacksmith. Life's too short for bad software. Balsam. How is this pronounced? Peldi at B A L S A M I Q dot com. B A L S A M I Q dot com. Thank you, Peldi. Welcome to the file cabinet. See that? Saw set, the carpenter's protractor. This is to be used in conjunction with a T bevel square for determining what the number of degrees really exactly are in an angle interior or exterior that you check with your T bevel square when you're doing crown mold. It has this nifty, nifty protractor. I need to go find a T bevel square and show you, but the T bevel square will conform to that as establishing the baseline. And then you can determine the reading of the angle that you're transferring right against that for either a double miter or a single miter, either 38 degree spring or 45 degree spring. Let me see if I can get that right. Because I'll tell you, I've done crown molding probably exactly 10 times in my life. Not enough to be automatic at it. Plan on putting some up in our spec house. I'm going to be using this. This comes from. I think he invented it too. Right? Yeah, he invented this. Hello, Scott. Please enjoy this complimentary saw set. We are a family company. This is my invention, available for sale on Amazon.com and Amazon.ca. Available soon directly from our website, sawset.ca. Ed Ost Ostachowski. Awesome. Takes a world of initiative to think of and develop and patent and bring to market anything. So thank you for sending me this. It's got all the necessary tables for the cuts, depending on the angle that you read. Very valuable, very practical, very well-made well tool. Iris and Ed Ostachowski. Just awesome. We hear again from our old friends at American Axe and Tool Company. Black Raven, which is a very desirable axe. <coughs> Kelly Axe and Tool Company, manufacturers of perfect tools. 
Look what I just happened to be restoring. Rehafting, polishing up, a true temper, Kelly Perfect. Okay, I think that's a cool coincidence. So, Nate, what do you think? Both of these on the cabinet? I connected on Facebook with this young man, Andrew Hughes. He started a business called Urban Loggers. He's still in college. He sent me this little wood-burned piece of, that looks like a piece of black walnut, I'll guess, but I don't think that's what it is. With a magnet in the back for sticking on the cabinet. Let's see if it'll hang there. It does. But what he's figured out is tree removal, and then take the wood, and if it's suitable, turn it into lumber, and then if it's good lumber, turn the lumber into furniture. You talk about value added. And then he's created this business, Urban Loggers. I, huh, can't be sure of what will come after, in the business after college. How about that, still in college doing that. So Andrew, I salute you, I appreciate you're contacting me on Facebook. I appreciate this. I appreciate that. I appreciate everything to do with the communication. Here's the last couple of items. This one from Uberworks. The coolest journals ever. This one has this dotted paper to keep my script legible. This one has a nice rubbery jacket. I'm not even sure how to describe these. I'm going to have to think about how to implement these. But there was a nice note included from Dragan Chichik. I butchered that. I'm sorry, man. Co-founder and CEO of Uberworks LLC. Another example of having a thought and bringing it to market. A product that's practical. Nice. I'll give them a try. I've been a Franklin Planner guy for about 30 years, but might have to try these. Local company, Leatherman. They're up in Portland, and as it turns out, I've been carrying a Leatherman for a long time. I've probably lost six of them, broke one, sent it back, they replaced it, and now in the mail comes this, along with a nice note from Matt Brown, product design engineer. Dear Mr. Wadsworth and Essential Craftsman crew, that's me and Nate, I hope you can put this surge and crunch to good use. You've got a lot of fans here at Leatherman Tool. You're, almost all your content hit, hits home for us. We've got a lot of people interested in construction, blacksmithing, woodworking, and of course, tools in general. Along with an invitation to tour their factory. Man, I am going to take you up on that, Matt. And we are going to put these things through their paces. It's a crunch, which includes a vice grip, like tool, a lever wrench, adjustable, and the surge, which is a fistful of tools. Huh. Well, there we have it. Evidence that somebody out there actually is watching. Let me tell you what, I appreciate it. And I appreciate these things, these gestures of sort of solidarity and appreciation and a similar outlook. We're going to keep making these. I hope you keep watching.